Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I analyze the Amber Heard Yorkie Australia incident? Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing anybody in this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. If you enjoy this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I will put the link to Patreon in the description for this video. First, I'll look at the background of this case, then I'll move to my analysis. In May of 2015, the actress Amber Heard flew to Australia on a private jet in order to spend time with Johnny Depp, who at that time was her husband. Johnny Depp was in Australia to film a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. On board the private jet, Amber had two Yorkshire Terriers, which are also known as Yorkies. The dogs were named Pistol and Boo. Australia has strict biosecurity laws, which require visitors to declare any animals that are brought into the country. The standard procedure Amber should have followed would have been to declare the dogs at customs and have them placed in a 10-day quarantine. Instead, when Amber completed an immigration card upon entering Australia, she checked the box indicating that she did not have any animals with her. This, of course, was untrue, and by making that statement, Amber was committing a crime, one that's taken fairly seriously in Australia. Amber would have been able to get away with her crime, except she dropped the dogs off at the Happy Dogs Grooming Salon near Gold Coast, Queensland. The groomers at the salon posted images of the dogs on Facebook, indicating that they felt honored to be caring for the dogs, which were owned by Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. When the authorities realized what happened, they gave the Hollywood acting couple 72 hours to send the Yorkies back to the United States. The government threatened to kill the dogs if the couple did not comply. The dogs were not harmed. Ultimately, they were returned to the United States without incident. Amber was facing two charges of illegal importation of an animal and could have been sentenced to prison for 10 years. Her attorney said that the paperwork slipped through the cracks and there was no attempt to deceive. Amber thought that Johnny Depp's staff had completed the paperwork. In addition, when Amber arrived in Australia, she was exhausted and sleep deprived. This led to her checking the wrong box on the immigration card. The Australian authorities accepted this claim that Amber did not intend to deceive. In April of 2016, Amber Heard was permitted to plead guilty to a lesser charge of falsifying an immigration document. Amber was given a $1,000 one-month good behavior bond and has no recorded conviction, so it's like she never pleaded guilty to the crime at all. Johnny and Amber produced an awkward 40-second video as part of this court case. In the video, they're both facing the camera, and they have these somber and zombie-like expressions on their faces. Amber said that Australia is free of many pests and diseases that are common around the world. This is why they have such strong biosecurity laws. She said that she was truly sorry Pistol and Boo were not declared. Johnny ends the video by saying, Declare everything when you enter Australia. Thanks. After leaving Australia, Johnny criticized the government. He implied that the dogs were tiny and therefore not dangerous. He suggested that the Australian government wasted taxpayer funds by chasing him and Amber down and by threatening to kill the Yorkies. It appeared as though Amber had escaped severe consequences from her heinous Yorkie smuggling offense, but then something happened which cast her actions in a new light. In 2020, London's High Court was hearing a defamation case that Johnny Depp filed against the Sun newspaper. The newspaper had referred to him as a wife-beater based on statements made by Amber Heard. Johnny sued the newspaper, and many people testified in the court proceedings. Ultimately, Johnny Depp lost that lawsuit. The court determined that 12 of 14 allegations of abuse against him were substantially true. One of the many people who testified during the trial was a man named Kevin Murphy. He was Amber Heard's assistant in 2015 when she was in Australia. Here's what Kevin said about the Yorkie incident. Kevin explained to Amber several times that trying to take dogs into Australia without completing the mandatory process was illegal and could have severe consequences, including the dogs being killed. After Amber was caught, she demanded that Kevin tell the Australian court that she was not aware of the requirements. Kevin informed Amber that he was extremely uncomfortable with making a false statement. Amber replied, well, I want your help on this. 
I wouldn't want you to have a problem with your job. Feeling as though he was going to lose his job, Kevin signed a declaration in October of 2015 containing statements that were not entirely truthful, which is otherwise known as false. In May of 2016, Kevin Murphy found out that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were no longer a couple. Therefore, he sought legal advice on how to retract his statement about the Yorkies. I guess it was weighing heavily on his conscience. He later gave up because of the expenses involved. Now, taking Yorkies into a country illegally is certainly wrong, but this doesn't really seem like the type of action that would weigh on somebody's conscience to that degree. When people think of a deep, dark secret, they think of something like murder or infidelity, not Yorkie smuggling. If Kevin was telling the truth, then Amber committed perjury during the Yorkie incident. A representative from the Department of Agriculture, Water, and the Environment in Australia said that they were investigating allegations of perjury. Therefore, Amber could be in some trouble. Amber's lawyer was confident that the Australian government would not reopen the matter. In 2022, a defamation trial took place in Virginia because Johnny Depp sued Amber Heard for an op-ed she wrote, which was published in the Washington Post in 2018. At the conclusion of this trial, both parties were found responsible for defaming each other, but Johnny Depp won a much larger settlement. He was ahead by $8.35 million. As far as I know, this trial did not have any bearing on the Yorkie incident, although Amber Heard was caught in a lie about how she failed to donate her divorce settlement to charity. So that could probably be used against her in Australia. Now moving to my analysis. Here are my thoughts on a few items that stood out to me in this case. Item number one, some people were critical of the strong response by the Australian government regarding the quarantine of animals coming into the country. However, the authorities do have a good point. Australia has avoided many diseases that are in the majority of other countries. For example, there have only been two cases of rabies in Australia, one in 1987 and one in 1990. Rabies is an infection that affects the brain and central nervous system, so not having it in one's country would be considered a positive, mostly because of the dying part. There was no need for the government to threaten to execute the Yorkies. At that point, the damage would have already been done. Like if the Yorkies had diseases, they would have already spread. But as far as protecting the country from diseases, the biosecurity laws in Australia make a lot of sense. Item number two, Johnny Depp mentioned the small size of Yorkies and implied that they were not a threat to Australia. Apparently, he didn't understand the whole concept of infectious disease. Maybe he believed the Australian government was worried about the physical presence of the Yorkies themselves, like the dogs could attack people, drive while intoxicated, destroy crops, or set fires. After all, rogue Yorkies are a prevalent problem in many areas of the world. It may have been that Johnny thought that the dogs would reproduce, I don't know if one was male and the other was female, but let's assume that that was the case. They could have reproduced and overrun Australia with packs of Yorkies. No one would be safe. A person could be walking peacefully on a street in Australia one moment, and in the next moment, a vicious pack of Yorkies would attack their feet and ankles. The carnage would be dreadful and appalling. Mangled shoelaces would be everywhere. Clearly, Johnny Depp never had to contend with a tidal wave of Yorkies, or he would not have underestimated how powerful they can be. It's worth noting that I have a Yorkie myself and can attest to the immense power of these little dogs. My Yorkie is named Maximus Decimus Meridius after the protagonist from the movie Gladiator. I named him this because he looks like a Yorkie that will have his vengeance in this life or the next. Item number three. As I mentioned, during the 2022 trial, Amber Heard was caught lying about a charitable contribution. According to Kevin Murphy, Amber also lied in court in Australia. I doubt that the Australian government is going to commit resources to prosecuting Amber Heard for perjury. After all, they have to save some of their budget to contain wild Yorkie packs. But I do think that her behavior in Australia supports this idea that Amber is not an honest person. Here she is flying into Australia. The law says that these dogs that she has with her must be quarantined for 10 days. Amber ignores this and flat out lies to the authorities at customs. She then makes no effort to hide the dogs. When she is caught, she allegedly issues a not-so-subtle threat to her assistant to pressure him to take the blame. 
This, along with other factors, allowed Amber to escape without a criminal record. After allegedly cheating the system, Amber records this video where she is flat, unenthusiastic, and maybe trying to be a bit sarcastic, like she's trying to communicate that she is really not sorry. I know that acting is not Amber's strong suit, but she could have at least tried to appear sincere. Item number four, Amber Heard has repeatedly demonstrated a pattern of underestimating the intelligence of other people and overestimating how positively other people will consider her. She assumes people believe that she is wonderful and great and that she deserves to be treated accordingly. Her behavior points to a powerful sense of entitlement. The danger associated with a sense of entitlement is sometimes overlooked, but it is no less devastating than other destructive narcissistic traits. A sense of entitlement can originate from having a grandiose sense of self. Like a person believes that they are great, therefore it's natural that they also believe that they are special. However, a sense of entitlement can also originate from the idea that a person believes they have endured some type of special suffering. That is, they are a victim who has experienced unfair treatment beyond what a normal person has experienced. Their exceptional background means that they should be treated differently and should be exempt from the law. A third possible explanation for a sense of entitlement is that the individual comes to believe they are important because they have a special relationship with someone who is regarded as special. Through that association, they become special as well. Perhaps this is what happened in the case of Amber Heard. She married a famous actor and became important by extension, at least in her own mind. One of the most powerful ways that a person expresses a sense of entitlement is through their failure to do something. For example, ignoring the law. It sends a message of disrespect to other people and places the person on a pedestal, which of course is what they believe is appropriate. There is the sense with Amber Heard that it is offensive to her to be required to follow the same laws as everyone else. Now moving to my final thoughts. During the 2022 defamation trial, Amber would not accept responsibility for anything she did wrong during or after her relationship with Johnny Depp. The Yorkie incident of 2015 makes perfect sense in light of her testimony in 2022. It validates the concern that Amber wants to convince people that she is perfect and she will never own her behavior. She lives in a world where taking responsibility is for other people. Those are my thoughts about the Amber Heard Yorkie Australia incident. Please put any opinions and thoughts in the comments section. They always generate an interesting dialogue. As always, I hope you found my analysis of this topic to be as intriguing as a dangerous pack of Yorkies. Thanks for watching. I named him this because he looks like a Yorkie that 